Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 595 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out the Beauty Crop eyeshadow that I got in the shade Serene and this was part of my September Ipsy Glam Bag. So if you want to see my unbagging of that, I will have that video linked down below. But so I had not heard of this brand before, but reading about it makes me so excited to try this out and so excited about this brand because it says that the beauty crop creates simple, effective, high-performing products inspired by healthy living, utilizing plant-based ingredients, natural oils, and everything they make. So I love that. I was looking them up online. They're cruelty-free, paraben-free, mineral oil-free. It says that the eyeshadow is enriched with jojoba oil and coconut oil. And it looked like they had a lot of beautiful eyeshadow palettes from this brand, which I would love to try out. But I'm excited to get to just try out this eyeshadow single right here, which on the website, it looks like this retails for $10. And oh my gosh, such a pretty plum shade. Let me just start out by swatching it. So metallic. Wow, and it swatches so beautifully, but it has like this duochrome shine where I feel like it looks kind of like a cranberry red shade, but then when it hits certain lights, it has that magenta sheen, and it looks so different, I feel like, in the swatch than it looks in the pan. Like, see, it's a little bit more orangey red in the swatch than it looks in the pan here, but still really pretty. I'm so excited to see how this is going to look on my eye. But I figured for the fun of it, I'm going to try out, because I couldn't decide if I wanted to prime my eyes or not, I'm going to just prime one of my eyes so then we can see how the eyeshadow performs if there's any difference when I use my primer. So. As always, I'm just going in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So if you want to see my full review on this eyeshadow primer, I will have that video linked down below. But I always need to prime my eyes before eyeshadow because I have a lot of creases in my eyelids, so this helps prevent that and it also helps make sure the eyeshadow lasts all day. But so, since I only have this one color, I'm going to try and do a one color eyeshadow look. So to start, I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and work the shade into the crease. So, the different types of, oh, that didn't even pick up any product. We'll see if a brush is even gonna work. I really dig it in there. But if it's a pressed pigment or a pressed glitter, I may not be able to use the brush method anyways. But this way I can see how the product looks when applied with a few different methods. Yeah, I mean this is kind of working. But I figured I could work it into the crease with a fluffy brush so that it's more of a diffused out color and then go in on the eyelid with the full pigment, applying it with my finger for that full metallic effect. <laughs> At least that's my goal. This is actually totally working in the crease. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I don't think this shade is my best shade because when I look at it, all I see is like black eye. <laughs> because it's just kind of looking like the color that a, a bruise would look on me. But let's try and, oh my gosh. I just realized I primed both of my eyes instead of one. Oh my gosh, I'm not even paying attention. It's just second nature. Okay, well, I guess like I said, I would prime my eye anyways. So that's totally fine. I'm just reviewing the product with 
the way I would have my eyelids prepped anyways. But so I'm finding that when I'm applying it with the fluffy brush in the crease and blending it out this way, it doesn't have that much of a metallic sheen. So it does just kind of give, ugh, are you serious? There's a bee right on my light. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm back. I can't wait to watch that part of my video back when I'm editing later. I wonder if the bee was flying in front of the camera and you guys saw it, and then my facial expression once I notice it's right on my light in front of me. For some reason, there's so many bees in this room and I'm scared, but hopefully that's the last of it. Okay, so like I said, I don't love this as a crease shade for me personally, but it did blend out pretty nicely using the brush, but now I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid using my finger. I love this color. So this with, you know, more of like a, a neutral crease shade would be more of my ideal look, but I do really love this. I don't even know how to describe this color, whether it's purple, it's pink, it's red, but it applies really nicely with that full metallic effect when I apply it with my finger. But you could get that same effect by wetting a brush and then applying it. But since I have short nails, I just like to apply my metallic eyeshadows with my finger. This is seriously such a pretty, kind of vampy, glamorous eye shade. I really like it. I just need to <laughs> incorporate it in a way that looks more flattering. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas of other colors that would look good with this shade. But so since I'm just trying out this eyeshadow, we're not going to judge on the look I created, but I'm just judging on, you know, the formula, the color. I love the color. It has good pigment. So I like the formula. It's kind of got a sticky feel. And I do think that this would be the type of formula that would crease in my eyelids if I hadn't worn that primer. So I am glad that I'm wearing the primer underneath because now I can tell that it's not creasing. But with that sticky texture, that's the type of powders that do tend to crease on me pretty badly. But so I'm really excited. I don't have a color quite like this in my eyeshadow collection. So I'm really excited to create some really pretty fall kind of like autumnal looks with this. So maybe incorporating some oranges or browns would look good with this. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.